Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's up everyone today? It's the man child. Okay, so today we're going to go over some uh, Go Guns. We got the miniature RPK model. Um, pretty cool. It just came out and finally shipped and I got it now. If you're not familiar with Go Guns, they're more or less just one-third scale die-cast miniature model guns. So if you like collecting miniature guns in a die-cast format or just in that type of scale, I think Go Guns is the way to go. And just here's a quick look with the illustration back of the box, the overall RPK, the accessories, and what parts you're going to have to put on this particular gun. And here's a quick look with the body, the gun, and all the parts of the box. And then you also get a couple stickers, some cards, and this is the instruction manual. And if you're not familiar, so yeah, this is the instruction manual. Obviously, it has a picture of the RPK on the front, and if you'd open it up, once again, we get that parts layout, like the illustration in the back of the box. It tells you all the parts you get, and... Kind of looks like this. So I'll just I'll put the gun together as I read the manual. I already read it, but take a look. Just kind of how these guns go together. And then there's even more info on the back. All right, so step one. Here's our charging handle and bolt. It's pretty cool, very realistic. And it's just going to sit in the main body of the gun like this. You can see how it's going to reciprocate back and forth. And you're going to slide it up front like that. So step two, we have our spring and spring carrier. So you're going to just line up that's the uh, main recoil spring and pin into the charging handle and you're going to push the carrier up like this and there's a slot in a lower receiver to gun you got to kind of like fill around with it a little bit like line this up okay and then push this forward and it's going to sit right in there if you can see that so the third step is we're going to put on our dust cover or upper receiver cover um you can see that the rear sight is all the way to the rear of this particular gun it goes up and down really good detail you know the um windage the knobs don't move on it, but it does go up and down, as I said. It does have a rail on the top. And as far as putting on a dust cover, so you see there's a couple little hooks back here in this hole. So you're going to line the front up and get the, the back part where those hooks are. And you're going to push everything together until it snaps in. So now I'm going to bring in the dust cover or pin. You can see that. right? And it's just going to push into this, the right side of the gun. And then you can flip it down and lock it. All right, with all those parts together, we should be able to reciprocate our charging handle in the spring. It goes back and forth like so. So the next step, we're going to put on our sliding stock or telescopic stock or, of course, butt stock um, or shoulder stock. It does have this little uh, piece here to adjust it, which is pretty cool. You can see it pushes up and down. It's like the real thing. It even has a rubber um, shoulder buffer on the back. And then putting the stock onto the buffer tube, you're just going to go on slide like this, and you're going to hold this back piece. And now you can adjust and lock it into all those little knobs in there it's pretty cool it's like the real uh, gun so here's a closer look at that muzzle this looks like a phantom muzzle break or something but anyway you're gonna bring the gun like this right and we have the threads and we're gonna thread that on here's a look with that muzzle or muzzle break now in front of the gun um yeah you want to be careful with these threads on the goat guns too and another point if you're not familiar once again is sometimes you scratch and chip easy now this one's black you can use like a uh, marker to touch it up i've done that before but that's one kind of gripe i have with these so once again be careful and i believe this flash hider you want the sort of three cuts in it you want the one on the very top and the two on the sides you know open on both sides and then the closed part on the bottom so the next accessory included is this bipod i mean this is really cool it has a quick mount lock that goes on to the rail on the bottom it can fold up with the springs right like this on both sides and then even the um, lower legs go down. Check that out. So you push these uh, pins in back here and you can extend the bipod. Then to attach the bipod, once again, we're just going to go into a rail locking like this. So make sure that locks all the way open. And then just lock it all the way back until it's tight. And be careful with this because it's aluminum. You want to snap this. Now there's another look with the bipod on. So once again, I set mine with the quick release lever on the right side of the gun. So the Legs will go forward. If you want them to go backwards, you just turn it around. I'm going to leave it that way. And, you know, you can, uh, as I already showed, you can unlock these uh, extensions here. And there's your gun up on uh, elevated. Pretty cool. Here's a look from the right side as well. And for the last accessory, of course, you get a cool ammo drum. Check that out. You got the little uh, wind-up feature that works. And the magazine even loads. And you get three um, rounds. I think these are just supposed to be 5.5. Four or five millimeter rounds just like an ak-74 would have yeah pretty cool and this is all metal by the way really heavy and then for effect you can load the rounds in the drum like so 
Now let's put the drum into the magwell. Clips locks like that. And remove it, of course. You have the little remove latch. Okay, and there's our RPK all set up. Got all accessories on. Looks awesome. So taking a closer look at the right side, it also has the uh, automatic and semi-automatic selector lever. Right, and then go up and down, it works too. So we know we have our dr drum in. Okay, we already looked at the bipod and go up. Now, with go guns, certain guns can chamber the rounds and eject them. But it's really finicky. It doesn't always work. So I do have a couple in the drum, obviously. And I'm going to pull a charging handle back and see if... Put this down and see if it low. Okay, so loaded into the chamber, does it eject it? Now, see, it gets stuck. But sometimes, if you get the work right, it will actually put the rounds in one at a time and eject them. So, I also picked up an EOTech site from Go Gun. So, they do have accessories. They have ACOGs, sites, EOTech, they have all kinds of sites. Doesn't come with the red reticle. I actually put that in your marker. You think it would or have a sticker, you know, for the cost of these. But they're all metal and look cool. So, I'm going to put this on this um, RPK. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the rail. It's going to just kind of snap on or down like that. And then there's a pin that goes through either side, or right or left. You got to kind of slide it through. Okay, so you can see it pop through. And then you got your little locking knob. This is where it gets tricky. You got to get it on those threads. Now, here's a final look with the RPK all set up. iPod, drum, EOTech site. All right, we know the stock goes in and out like that. Yeah, that's awesome. That look, looks and feels like so cool. It's like the real thing. And here's a look with the bipod folded up forward. Check that out. And here's a quick comparison with Go Guns, the AK-12 model. It just came, that came out too a while back against our RPK model. So you can see basically their RPK is just a variant of the AK-12. And the AK-12 is a 5.45 times 39 millimeter um, variant of the AK-47 instead of using the 7.62 millimeter version, right? Familiar with guns and the uh, ammunition. Now this mag, so this is all in a tan color, obviously, but it does have the black receiver, just like the, the um, RPK. And this magazine should be able to pop out and fit into this one like that. So there you go. Now you have a mag, although it's in tan. You can always paint it black. Or at some point, I'm sure it'll come out with black ones. But what's cool with the AK-12, now we can use a drum in this. Okay, and hook it, and that should fit. It's a little finicky, but okay, there we go. So I'll fit in there. This one also have a custom grip. So once again, you can use that with the um, RPK or the bipod on the AK-12. And this one also has an AK-74 flash hider. Once again, you could switch these two different flash hiders between the two different guns if you wanted to. And one last feature I forgot to mention is the stock does fold. So if you push this little button in here, check that out. You can actually fold the stock over. Now, of course, with the drum, this is going to hit. Even if you push this all the way in, you would need a magazine. But it's pretty cool that this gun can also do that as well. All right, that was my overall review for the new Go Guns RPK variant um, assault rifle, which is basically, as I said, a variant of the AK-12, which I didn't review this, but obviously I showed it now. Pretty cool. Um, you know, it's you got to be careful with these. Like I said, they are like a cast or die cast, and they put in certain parts on, you can't break them. You know, things with a charging handle, it's easy to snap stuff, so be very, very careful if you're not familiar with them. It is neat to give you the die cast, the metal rounds that go into magazines or drums, and that the charging handle feature does work. It's supposed to load them, inject them, but once again, gun to gun doesn't always work, from my experience. It's also cool you can buy attachments and grips and all that good stuff and customize these guns the way you want. So if you have a little patience and you want a one third scale die cast replica gun that looks, you know, pretty close to the real one, I definitely head over to Go Guns and check them out. So I appreciate all you guys watching. And until next time, take care.